Welcome back to Box Cows Reviews. In this review, we're going to take a look at the new Joy Tour Warhammer 40k White Scars member. This is the White Scars Assault Intercessor Brother Bat Jargal. And these are brand new. Came out a few weeks ago. And here we go. Let's take a look at him. This is the package that comes in. Oh, these are recommended for ages 15 and up. More for your dog collector. Um, in front of the packaging. Has all the information on. These are 118 scale. Very nice. Here is the uh, top of the box. Bottom of the box. There we go. The side of the box. And then we have the other side of the box. And then we have a little bit here on this side. The back of the box shows four product images. Very large one showing all the accessories. We definitely got some new parts in there we're going to want to check out. Um, front, back, and chest area for the smaller product images. This guy looks pretty cool. Can't wait to see what it looks like outside the packaging. Here we go, inside the clamshell. Looks very cool. Uh, everything's nice and neat. Let's take a look at him. Okay, here he is outside the packaging. And I must say that white is pretty nice. That's what caught my eye first. Next to that skull and his waist belt. That looks pretty nice. Um, they used a overall gray wash over the white armor. It, can, it came out better than if they used actually a black wash. So I'm very excited for that. Let's take a look at him. Head sculpt. Pretty decent. The red eyes, silver vents. Um, let's see, here we have silver cylinder on the side, silver tubing. And then on the back, we do have this two little silver dots that we've seen before. Nothing special about the helmet, but very cool that we see it in the white and then finally have white scars to add to our collection. On the chest, we do have that very nice metallic red wings and skull with some black to bring it out to make it pop. Very nice. We have these vents here just below the uh, chest area. The pauldrons look very cool. Uh, we have this design here. We do have that, as you can see, that gray shading that they use to turn out perfectly. In my opinion, of course. Um, on this pauldron, we do have the West Cars logo painted on. Looks fantastic. Very, very nice. Here on that gauntlet, we do have a, two red buttons and a green button. Very nice. Let's see if that's on the other side. And it is. Very, very cool. Finishing out the upper body. The back doesn't have a whole lot to show here on the upper body. Just the two pig holes for the actual um, no, power pack. So the, on the waist, we do have some stuff going on. We have this three piece here that's all one sculpt. Small pouch, large pouch, cylinder, brown, silver dot. It's pretty nice. Then over here, we have a cylinder, small brown patch, all one piece. These are both removable, thus on a ball peg. Any move around, however you see fit. Moving over to this side, we do have that brown empty weapons case. So a dot nicely uh, fits the rest of the uh, figure um, pouches and, and cylinders that they have on the belt. So here's one of our new pieces. Look at that. That's killer. Very cool. The red hair chains in plastic, of course. Very nice coloring and paintwork and sculpt on this uh poor fellow here that obviously fell in battle i want to say i don't know for sure but that looks like an ultramarine because it's a larger size head um these on a ball peg oops this, this flew off they come off really uh nicely they don't come off too easy but just enough but it's hard to hold on the figure and that and behind the camera anyhow but you can see like the overall aesthetic of the white scars they do have this unique kind of hair um, in different places on their heads there's a hole that holds the peg so you can see that the chain and the uh, red hair with the black inside 
Uh, inside the skull, the skull eyes are, is a dark brown. They use shades of brown. It's definitely black. Which is really cool because this whole figure um, is done in a different um, shade. So that's very, very cool. I'll leave this off for a second. You see the pig. And that's how all the rest of the pouches come off too. Not much to see on the lower body. Too much beside this lightning bolt here on the knee pad. And then on the back of the lower legs. We have um, two sets of uh, silver cylinders here. Very, very cool. All right, I'm gonna pop that back on. I mean, we'll save it off for a second. I wanna show you guys comparison up close of how size that skull is to that helmet. And we'll leave it off and I'll compare it to the uh, on helmeted head too. So maybe we can figure out if that is an actual fallen brother. Pretty nice. So let's go ahead and check out the uh, version 2 body articulation, which is pretty much going to be the same. But for those of you who are new to this, we'll do this really quick. So back, forward, side to side, 360 rotation. Strapped arm, so we're not going to get a hold of up. You can see here how quickly these things hit the pauldrons and they only move a little bit side to side. Now these are on a rotating um, arm ball joint. 360. There is a um, bicep cut 360 double jointed elbow on these guys. The wrists are the standard wrists with the ball joint go all the way around, up, down, in and out. 360 and then um, all in between. All those old places you can get from really cool posing for the uh, chest. This guy can look up pretty killer. And then uh, come down. You can look down. Very, very nice. And then we have the um, side to side rotation 360 all the way around there. Um, let's see if we can do some legs. Um, split um, until it hits the uh, the belt pieces. It kind of stops it. Um, thigh cut here. Thigh rotation. Double jointed knees. Very cool for a big guy. Feet have the toe articulation up. Pivot down. Pretty much back to stationary. Get the side to side. And you can get a rotation 360 if you want to force it around. I am not. I got lucky and got these figures out of any issue. I'm going to keep them that way. So uh, you can get it if you're on the trial when you receive yours. If you decide to pick these bad boys up. I do recommend them. They look amazing. On uh, my pre examination of these guys. Alright, so let's still take a look at some of the accessories. Here we have the power pack, same color pattern, white with a gray wash, gunmetal vents here, 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 um, silver studs throughout. These are articulated. This one's kind of stuck with the hair dryer out, but these do move. Um, but I recommend you check them before you force them. Back here we do have the two pins and the silver inside, which is really really cool. So bring him around here and see our tolerance is uh, pretty good. No gapage, looks fantastic. There we go. Very very nice. So it looks okay. Here we have the alternate head. We have a scarred one eye. We have uh, some hair here from the center of his head down to the side. We have the silver part of his helmet, which must be the inner part because it doesn't really match the back of that helmet. This bottom piece is for the neck and the ball, ball peg you get. We have this silver lens piece. And then the red lens. Looks like it's black. It's pretty killer. Here's the earring, maybe. It's really hard to get the focus on something so small. Very, very nice. So, I'm trying to retrieve this other piece. Um, let's try to switch hands here. I'm trying to hold it the best I can. So, it's almost like it's a. Uh, 
Same size nugget. Yep, pretty sure. So that's definitely a fallen brother. Very nice. I'm not going to put this figure on head on the uh, body because I don't have a hair dryer with me. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's going to have to be that pig that comes on my head is always a problem on, on the V2 body. So um, maybe I'll try to work it out and put him in another video if, just for, you know, background image. But you can basically get the idea how that's going to look. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Plenty of product images out there that shows that. All right, so I'm just going to set that down. So you have the option here. Here's his gun. Gun metal, flat black. Draw barrel to the side. Pretty cool. Non-removable clip, as I can tell. So when you have this in his hand, you can use this versus the, uh, you know, this is pulled out. This is not fitting there. So they give you this one to, um, <laughs> <laughs> to um uh swap them out for if you know if you're just using don't you know don't have the pistol but i'm laughing at he's like this is as they don't pay too much detail on this because you have a purity sale <laughs> and then if you look at this this thing is <laughs> I mean, a good just bit smaller than the other one it's just thin it's very thinner than that one it looks like it is but if you hold it in your hand it is not as thick it's really crazy uh, unless it's just me, but uh, the hands on these guys are really stiff. Yeah, I'm gonna have to heat that up. I don't want to break his hand. It's one of the falls of 2.0 bodies, is the uh, too stiff plastic of the hands. But gotta warm him up there first. All right, so we have this very large, heavy weapon here. Very nicely done. Flat black and a gun metal. Not just as uh aesthetic of that pistol like it very much um, final strap very pliable gold shells on the strap on this very large magazine we have some shells inside this must be like the rotate like a revolver piece that spins when it's fired silver design there silver gold design there ahead of myself here silver um, business end drawer barrel through the side and the front um, piece here I'm not sure what's going on here because it has one trigger but then you have this piece it's just like come down and it's like a double fire weapon I'm not sure how that works because if this rotates and it fires I'm not sure how this gets in the ammo there's no trigger or nothing on there huh. interesting Pretty cool, very nice sculpt. And here's another new piece. We have our very first curved chainsaw sword skull here, gold, cold lightning bolt, gunmetal kind of chain, black body. That's awesome. We have the uh, motor here that powers the chainsaw, red handle, gold handle guard, red hair, and a chain there, it does not move brown wrap and that's a very very nice it has a quite large huh. very, very cool let's stop you get the four hands punch in hand um, open hand these are very cool I like the glove pad in the center the pointing fingers and then another gripping hand, which is very stiff. Okay. All right, then. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this review so far. Um, some pros and cons. This, this the body. Uh, we pointed this out before the hands. This is my biggest issue. And the Pauldron's um, limitations on movement. Other than that, man, this is nice. You got some nice pieces here. You got the curved sword. Uh, the skulls are fantastic. Um, I love the guns. The guns are cool. Um, should have been a removable clip. We've got it before. They've set the standard. Now they're changing their standard. Save money, I'm betting. Um, but 
Uh, other than that, I love the figure. Uh, I was really impressed with the color. I, love, I think he has a nice presence. I think he did a great job on him. Um, very happy, very excited to have these in my collection. Um, there's going to be there's three figures and a bike. I'm going to do a review for here over the weekend. So don't forget to keep checking back on my channel so you can see uh, all four of the new White Scar offerings from Joy Toy. Um, for price... I want to say this guy's like $35 on average. So what I think I paid for it. I don't remember totally, but I know it was, I was kind of surprised at the prices because it seemed like some prices are coming down on certain places. So check around is my best advice for you. Um, hope you guys, like I said, hope you guys like this review. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to check out the other videos coming this weekend. And I'll see you in our next review.